Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to showcase uh, Virtual Buddy. Uh, Virtual Buddy is a virtualization program for uh, Macs with Apple Silicon. And uh, the reason I'm bringing this up and bringing it up now is because um, Apple has announced macOS Sequoia and has released uh, developer betas. Uh, but if you're like me, you only have one Mac uh, that you uh, use regularly and you don't really want to install a beta operating system on your production machine, right? So it's a beta, stuff might break. Um, so running it in a virtual machine is a really good option uh, to try out macOS Sequoia, explore the different options and uh, see what the beta is like uh, without destroying your machine, which is really nice. So Virtual uh, Buddy uh, is a really simple uh, app that uh, really anyone uh, can use. Um, it's just download it from, uh, from GitHub. I'm not aware of any official website, but I might be wrong. I haven't looked very much, um, but I have known about Virtual Buddy for a while. Um, so this video, I'll showcase the in installation steps of um, uh, macOS uh, Sequoia. I am currently running macOS 14 Sonoma, uh, but I will be installing macOS Sequoia and macOS 15 in a virtual machine. Uh, so what you will need is an Apple Silicon Mac and a Mac OS 12.3 uh, or later. And uh, it says here, this is really important. If you are running a uh, version of Mac OS that is newer in a virtual v uh, machine, uh, newer than uh, what, your Mac, what your own Mac currently runs, then you need to install a Xcode beta. I'm going to leave the link for that in the description. Uh, but what, it's, what is important to know is that you don't really need to be a developer to, to run this. You just download Xcode, open it once, and then it will do all the necessary things, install all the dependencies on your system, and uh, you'll be good to go. So to download, you can just go to the GitHub releases. Um, you can click the link in a README or right here on the, on the right. There's a link with some change logs, and then here is the DMG file. And then after you download it, it's just a matter of uh, dragging the application to your applications folder. So uh, here is uh, Virtual Buddy. And um, this is what you see if you open the app for the first time. You just click Create a VM, then you select macOS. And then you can select Download macOS Installer from a list of options, which uh, makes it easy to uh, acquire the latest beta. Uh, but if you've already downloaded it to your uh, machine, you can uh, click the Open Custom IPSW file option. But uh, let's uh, download it here. Then we'll fetch a list of uh, options from the internet. And uh, the first one here, macOS 15.0 Developer Beta 2. It's the latest uh, developer beta that we can download here. Uh, and in my case, I've already downloaded it, so that will save me some time. Um, but uh, good to know is that uh, whether I click the install now button or the continue button, which will re-download, the steps are the same. Um, but I will let you know in which part uh, the download would, would start if, uh, if that would have been necessary. So I'll, I'll click install now. And then it gives me an option to, uh, to name the machine. I'm going to name it macOS 15 beta 2 which is a bit ambiguous because this is a developer beta uh, and there will be public betas as well those might be different so i'll call it developer beta 2. Um, then i can choose a boot disk size I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and say 50 gigabytes uh, let's scroll down here and then for display it's a good idea to um, check this option here automatically configure display and I will um, make sure that you can resize the window um, and the resolution will update itself. Otherwise, it will make the entire um, display of the of macOS smaller and you'll end up with black bars on the sides. Uh, clicking this option will make sure the resolution in the VM changes, which is really nice. Um, if you want, you can share files between your VM and your host machine. So I can click uh, add shared folder and I have a uh, desktop here with some profile picture and some other stuff on here. 
So I can just click uh, open and I will share the desktop folder with my uh, virtual machine. Uh, and the sharing works via a guest app. And I'll show you how you can, how you can use that. For network, it's going to use a net uh, NAT adapter, but you can also bridge a physical interface if you really want. Easiest, if you don't know what to do, just click net. Okay, let's continue. And this is where the step where it would first download and then install. But for me, because I have already downloaded it, it will just install. So I'm going to speed up the video here and I'll see you on the other side. There we are. That took less than five minutes. So that's a really nice quick installation process. And this also means that uh, you don't have to click uh, next, next, next or format disks or anything like that. Um, it does the installation of macOS for you, which is uh, really nice. So let's click go to library and then click on the new VM here. And then we can just click the pick play button and that will start our VM for the first time. And uh, as you could see, that uh, boot up process was really quick. Uh, th this was all real time. It didn't speed up the video or cut anything here. Uh, just to give you an idea, this is running on a M1 MacBook Pro. Uh, so uh, just to give you an idea. So it's telling us hello in all kinds of different languages now, because it's always nice to see uh, your language flash by. I'm going to uh, wait one more second before I click the button here. Uh, Los geht's. Yeah, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Anyway, um, we'll click uh, the proper English here. Uh, country or region seems correct, so let's continue. Um, these settings are not correct for me, but I'll continue anyway, just to uh, speed through this. I'm not going to s transfer any information and not set up an Apple ID right now. I agree to the terms and I've read them all. Set up a very secure account here with a password you can definitely not guess, but you can try, leave your guess in the description. Uh, creating the account always takes a couple of seconds, but again, I'm not going to cut this in the video just to give you an idea of how long this all takes. There we go. Uh, location services within a VM is interesting because normally your Mac uses Wi-Fi for their location services. So uh, there are uh, databases that Apple has that put uh, different uh, Wi-Fi access points um, on a location. And uh, um, because of the database, your Mac or iPhone can determine its own location. Uh, but within a VM, it doesn't have access to the Wi-Fi radio. It gets a ethernet, a virtual ethernet adapter. Um, so it cannot uh, get your location based on that. So uh, we'll leave it disabled. And that also means that we need to select our time zone. If you were to use uh, location services, it would use that to figure out the right time zone. Let's pick Amsterdam. Uh, analytics, we cannot uh, do anything about that. It seems uh, Apple has just decided that it will need it, um, which is, I guess, for a beta fine. Uh, we'll set this up later. I'm not going to set up Siri and light mode is fine. Yes, dark mode is great, but light mode is fine. Welcome to Mac. Let's continue. And there we go. We are at the desktop and you are free to do anything you want within this VM. You can use the new snapping feature of Sonoma, which leaves gaps, which is really nice. Like, uh, let's try it with, uh, with Safari here. And uh, someone has definitely uh, paid attention to, uh, to i3 gaps because this looks pretty good. Anyway, 
Um, I have promised to show you a couple of things within this VM. The first one is the uh, sharing of, uh, of data. So um, as you can see here under locations, we have a, a location called guest, uh, which contains virtual buddy guest. Uh, this is put here by virtual buddy. And if we double click this, we get this new, uh, new app, which automatically launches at login after the first time of running. And then you have this, uh, this drive here uh, there we go the background item has been added so if we double click this we can now see the desktop application that uh, i shared and then we can uh, show a picture of uh, me i guess hello it cannot be opened that might be because the data is actually in icloud drive let's check that out Yes, as you can see, the data is in iCloud Drive, which means that there is a finder extension that downloads the actual file once I open it. So if I click this, uh, this cloud button here, that will mean it will download it now. And if we try to open this within the Mac now, then you get a nice picture of me. Um, anyway, uh, that is that. Um, we can also try the resizing feature here. So if I resize this window, can see that uh, it uh, automatically updates the resolution that is within the uh, virtual machine that's really nice as you can see we don't have any black bars uh, let's see if I can disable it uh, that setting show you what it looks like if you don't do this I might have to uh, add some b-roll of that um, Another nice thing, since you've sticked, uh, sticked around for this video uh, uh, this long, I want to show you this uh, really cool wallpaper that is included with uh, with macOS uh, Sequoia, which is a classic Mac. I have uh, searched around on the file system earlier, and I could not find the original, uh, any original like uh, photo files or a video file, because this is actually a, a, a video or it, it moves if you lock your computer you can see that it starts moving this is how the dynamic wallpapers on macOS work anyway this is all dynamically generated by the OS so you can find some uh, uh, some artifacts of this wallpaper like the the old uh, macOS uh, UIs and then there is some code that puts it at a nice angle and lays a nice color over it and uh, I guess the movement of these different objects is scripted there as well and the, uh, the gradient is also uh, uh, dynamic. So that makes it so that um, uh, once I log in, I will continue moving for a bit and then stop, which is uh, gives you this uh, peace of mind uh, without uh, a moving wallpaper uh, continuing all day. And you can uh, also choose a, uh, choose a color. So if you want to go with gray, then uh, that's fine too. I'd like to uh, thank you all very much for watching my uh, quick video about Virtual Buddy. Um, if you like Virtual Buddy, then uh, I'm sure they would appreciate it if you would uh, buy their program through uh, Gumtree. Um, they are open source developers that have put this out in the world for free, and I really appreciate them for it. Uh, and the world is a little bit nicer because of that. Um, if you like this video, then uh, please uh, click the like button. Uh, share your thoughts in the description. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. Uh, check out my other videos. You may, may or may not find them interesting. They are from a large range of, uh, of topics like uh, DAB plus transmitters or Flipper Zero shenanigans or uh, uh, just anything really. Anything that I find interesting, I make a video about. So uh, thanks a lot for watching if you have been and I'll see you next time.